I am Miss Hill and I'm here to say, let's open up book and read today. Books are hip, they're cool, books will help you in school. If you read with me, here's what we'll do. I find reading fun with you. Hi, I'm Miss Hill and I'm here to say, let's read together every day. Kindness Week, written by Tahia Cooper, illustrated by Patricia Granum. Anaya is beyond excited for school today. She has been waiting for this week all year. Be kind. Kindness Week. Anaya is part of the Kindness Club in her school. This week is Kindness Week. Remember, every day we will have a kindness activity, their teacher, Miss Phil, shared. Kindness Week, day one. Monday's activity is Anaya's absolute favorite. The students will write cards to men and women who are currently active members of the military. Thank you for your service. Robert, a classmate, did not understand why Anaya was so happy. Anaya, I don't get it. What's the big deal about kindness week? <gasps> Anaya was shocked. She replied, Doing kind acts for others creates a more inclusive, safe, and healthy environment for us all. Spreading kindness and cheer is contagious. Once you start, it's hard to stop. Once Robert finished his card, he was full of excitement. He showed it to Anaya and said, I hope that whoever gets my card loves my drawing of the American flag. Anaya smiled and skipped on to lunch. Once she got to the cafeteria, Anaya noticed that Alana did not have a lunch. Hey, Alana, did you forget your lunch today? Right away, Alana got very upset and put her head down on the table. Anaya whispered to Alana, it will be okay. I will be right back. Anaya went up to the principal, Miss Key, and told her about Alana. She wanted to know how she could help. Miss Key went into the lunch line and got a lunch for Anaya to give to Alana. Anaya quickly brought the lunch to Alana. Alana was surprised and so happy. Alana said, thank you for getting me lunch. You are so kind. After lunch, the class returned to the classroom. Mrs. Phil asked the students to share their cards they made before lunch. One by one, students shared their cards and described why they made them. When it was Robert's turn, he was beaming from ear to ear. At first, I did not understand why we were making cards for people we don't know, but then Anaya explained to me how it is nice to do something for someone else. Mrs. Phil asked all the students to come to the carpet as she read their kindness book for the day. She asked students to share something someone else had done for them that made them feel special. Immediately, Alana's hand went up. Kindness for all. Alana shared with the class how Anaya got her lunch today because she had forgotten hers. Alana said, it made me feel good that someone was thinking about me and it made me happy when she went to get me lunch. Mrs. Phil replied, wow, I love that act of kindness. Remember, one random act of kindness can lead to another act of kindness. It keeps going until there is kindness flowing everywhere. Mrs. Phil celebrated all the acts of kindness done in her classroom. Creating cards for soldiers, Anaya got Alana's lunch, picking up trash on the playground. Everyone in room 104 was ready to take on another day of kindness. And here is the author. She is a third grade teacher in Northeast Maryland. Thank you so much for writing this book.
It's random acts of kindness time. It's random acts of kindness time. For today's random act of kindness, leave positive notes and messages around your community or your school. They can say things like, you are awesome. Keep going. You are blessed. You're amazing. Simple messages like that go a long way in making another person feel special and welcome and loved. People come in different sizes, different color shapes and names. Although we're different on the outside, inside we are just the same. Press the subscribe button to tune in for the next story time with Miss Hill. Thanks for joining me for today's read aloud. Remember, what makes us all different makes us special. You are so special and so loved. Thanks for joining in and I'll see you next time.